This was a meeting 36 years in the making. Did you ever think this moment would come? No, no. And it's come on so fast. All of a sudden, now it's here. I've been telling everybody, I have a daughter. This all started in 1986 in Northern California, where Danica O'Leary was born. It's always just been me and my mom. No matter who came in or out of my life, it was me and my mom. When Danica was six years old, her mother, Lisa, married Danica's stepfather, Patrick, and had two more children. I'm the oldest of three, so I took on a lot of responsibility really young. I've always looked at my dad who raised me as my dad, like, he's the man. <laughs> Can you put into words what it was like knowing that you didn't know your biological father? I almost felt growing up a little bit more empty. I felt like I was the castaway, like the unwanted kid, even though he didn't know I even existed. Her desire to find her biological father led Danica to take a DNA test from 23andMe when she turned 27. And it kind of just took time for other relatives and family members to take their tests. Meanwhile, 1,800 miles away in Fargo, North Dakota, Mike Weir was living a content life. Did you ever want kids? Is that something you yes. wanted? You did? Yeah. But I was married one time before, and it didn't work out. What do you remember about Danica's mom? She was fun to be around. She knew where she wanted to go, where she wanted to be. And you never knew? Never knew a thing. It wasn't until May of this year when everything finally fell into place. I think I found him through his brother and his half-sister, and I had messaged his half-sister. She says, oh, this girl thinks you might be her father. You think what? I was happy. I, that's why I said, give me the number. I'll call her right now. He answered the phone, and he was just like, oh, hey. I heard that I might be your father. When you first talked to Danica, and during that process, did it feel natural? It's just like we didn't even need to take the test. Really? That's, it felt that real. But he did take the test, and four weeks after that first conversation, it became real. What did you think the second you saw that it was positive? I wanted this. I've been wanting this for years. In the middle of the night, he called and he messaged. He says, it's a girl. <laughs> I'm just like, well, yeah, it's a 36-year-old girl. <laughs> felt like this almost settling in my stomach. This is it. I don't have to look anymore. Do you see similarities between the two of you? Yeah, she always talks about the clip chin. All the little quirks, the things she likes to do, like what I do. You know, she likes working with her hands. She likes going out of her way and helping people. My husband pointed it out. We were on speakerphone. He's like, you guys laugh the same. With the holidays approaching, it was the perfect opportunity for father and daughter to meet. So upon hearing their story, 23andMe paid for Mike to travel to California to hug Danica in person for the very first time. Hello. Hi. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's been so long. Thanks yes. for flying out here. Oh, that was no problem. I would have rode my bike out here. If it was snowing, I didn't care. I would have been here. Thank you. Okay. It means a lot. Yes. It means a lot. I brought you some pictures from when I was little, because I know you don't have any. That, that one? one you were a cheerleader? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> This is a cool place. I'll always remember this place. I'm not gonna lose it here in a minute. <laughs> Don't start crying, because I'll start crying. <laughs> this took some work. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm crying. Oh. <laughs> I just can't believe this today's happening. What would you like life to look like after this? Have Christmas, you know, share stories. I would love to have a close relationship and a friendship with him. I want to be able to look at him as a best friend. I'm glad you found me. Me too. I'm so happy. Me too. Yeah, so after that first meeting, they uh -huh. got to spend a lot of time with one another. You know, oh. getting to know each other. Yes. That's the thing that's crazy. It's like you kind of, you have this love for one another. Yeah. But you don't know each other. Yes. yes. So it just never lost on me the things that we get to do and call uh -huh. it work. Like yeah. the fact that they let us in on oh. such a special well, moment. Well, how beautiful oh, to be part beautiful. of that reunion. Oh, Thank you, Joelle. Loved it. Loved it.